Hi everybody. Here is my October hashtag Think Pink collaboration with the CAC for Cancer Awareness. Now what I want to do is try to make a bowl it, and I'm considering it a wishing bowl. And what I'm using here today is the Japanese paper clay, soft clay from Daiso. It cost a dollar fifty. And this stuff sets up really fast. And I have a bowl. And I think I want to try to roll it out as much as possible. And then I'm just going to push it down. I hope it releases. Then I'm going to get my honeycomb to try to leave an impression onto the clay. As much as possible. it up. Put some there because it looks like it wants to really go in. And I'm going to throw it on my bowl. I think I'll turn it around the other way. And it's cracking a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just put some more. And I want it to be a freeform bowl where we can throw our wishes for family, friends that are going through chemotherapy or just got the news that a family or a friend has cancer and it's a wishing bowl, a prayer bowl where we can toss in our wishes or our prayers for those who are going through this life change and wish the best for them Just mending cracks. And hopefully we'll be mending hearts and lives. And sending positive energy. To those that are going through a difficult time. And I'm no longer I'm not gonna fuss with it too much more and just let it set up on its own. <laughs> and 
and I'll be back to release it from the bowl and show you guys what it looks like. Hi everybody! This is what I have for you today. Uh, this is for the collaboration for cancer awareness. This is part two. I will be getting my videos and um, attaching them together. And let me see. The hashtag is Think Pink Art. Okay. So the last thing you guys seen me do was lay the clay or the paper clay over the bowl. It has released quite well. But now what I'm doing, what I'm in the process of doing is making it more sturdy because it is a paper clay. And I want it to be around for years and maybe my kids will keep it. So I want to make it sturdy so I'm adding tissue paper uh, to the bottom. I'm on maybe three layers and I just want to come on real quick and do one more layer and then let it dry and then we'll continue the other side. But I just didn't want to run you guys through four layers of the same thing. And what I'm going to use, what I have used though, is the outdoor decoupage. That's what I've used. And my third, I think I just want to do the normal um, school glue because I know that that gets really hard. So I have school glue in here. So I'm just going to squeeze some. And work it all the way down and then just lay a flat piece of uh, tissue and I like the wrinkles I really do like the wrinkles it adds to the bowl I'm not looking for perfection I'm looking to express the bowl that I'm doing for the think pink art to express how I feel about it and for me this bowl represents the prayer bowl a wishing bowl where we can put pieces of paper, relics, uh, things that are meaningful to you into the bowl and the energy that you put into whatever it is that you want to toss into the bowl goes right in there and the energy goes in also. So I'll just get a piece and basically I'll worry about the edges later once it dries. I may like the edges later. I may not. I don't know yet. But do you see all this wrinkling? I love that. We all eventually grow old, right? And have wrinkles. Why not embrace it? Why not be okay with it now? And since it is an expression here, of my feelings with cancer. Cancer can be in all ages, right? So I'm not looking for perfection and I'm loving the wrinkles. It just adds character, uniqueness, and everything else. Maybe when I flip it over, maybe it'll look like the veins of a flower. Okay, so that's that part, and I'll let it dry for a good two days. And also, what I've done off camera is I varnished a few of these. My first coat, I've only done one coat. When I'm ready to do the fourth coat, I'll do it on camera and share with you guys. But for right now, it's drying on its first coat. So I've got some ideas on where I'm heading with this. So the other side is pink. I'm not sure if I'm going to tint the outside pink. We'll find out. So yes, enjoy the hashtag. Pop it into the search. Hashtag 
think pink art and you'll find many artists expressing their feelings through art for the month of October for cancer awareness. See you guys in a little bit. Hi everyone. So I'm back here. I've let it dry and this is how hard it looks right or this is how it looks right now. It's all gonna change. So I did about seven layers, something like that. And now we're gonna work on the inside because the outside I have some ideas on what to do here. But before we do this part here, I want to do the inside. So I wanted to do that on camera with you guys. So I'm going to pour some jewelry pendant down at the bottom. So I do want it to look like a resin. So I want to put some hearts. Some of my hearts are stuck together. I wanted to put stars, but I can't find my stars. <laughs> if you hear anybody in the background, it's Maricha's on Skype with me. She has no clue I'm recording. But I lowered it, just in case. So we're only going to put a little bit now, and then I think I'll add some more later. I don't want it to be overwhelming. So let's pour some of this in. And I'm pretty sure some are going to move. And that's okay with me. I think that's good enough. Actually, I think I'm going to coat the whole inside of the bowl. Maricha, I, I'm recording so I have it on mute. I'll be right back. So I shouldn't talk, right? <laughs> Recording. <laughs> oh, there's an ant in there. I think I see that. It's right there. Poor little guy. Okay, well, he's gonna stay in there. And I'm just rocking it back and forth just so that I can get it covered. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Just going to coat all of the inside. I would get a brush, but the brush will actually get pretty messed up in here. So this is what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back as soon as I finish all of it. And basically what I'm going to do off camera, just so that you guys can see, is just do this. And allow it to move around. And I'll probably use my fingers. I'm looking for, here it is. And I'm just going to coat, make sure the top gets coated. Then I'm going to cover it up really good because I don't want any more little bugs to get in here. Which I, I wouldn't mind, but it's kind of sad though, right? 
plus to, to, just to keep the dust out. And then when we come back, it should be all dry. I am going to add a little bit more of the hearts. And then we're going to do a, something here just to finish it off. Oh, and a few more other things. I want to add these also. So let me put some more hearts in here. And that's about it. And then when we come back, we'll finish it off. Hi everybody. So we're here um, in the bottom part. And what I'm going to do is, since the pink went away, I'm going to use the Gloss Enamels Baby Pink. And I'm just going to cover the bottom with way more than what I need. That's okay. Way more than what I needed. You see that? <laughs> no big deal. None at all. got big plans for this bowl. So I hope you stick with me till we're completely finished. You might be surprised. You just might be surprised. I thought I was going to need two coats. I think we're good with this one. And I actually think that I'm going to water it down because I don't want it so pink. Just wait and see what it's going to look like. Definitely going to water it down. I wonder if they have a white wash pink. Yes, I definitely want it to be a wash of pink. Okay, and then um We'll do the other side as soon as this part dries. I'll catch you guys in the next part. Okay, so let's get this finished up. And let's see. Here's the bottom. And it's quite, quite durable and safe. And it's going to be around for a while. So what I want to do is I started with the, the gold leaf, leafing pin. But it's, 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 it's a bit of trouble. So I decided to pull out metallic gloss enamel, um, glorious gold, 
and gold Americana multi-surface metallic. I don't know which one is best, but we'll find out. I did a lot of testing and a lot of messing, and I can't remember which one I preferred. So let's let's find out together. And the reason I'm doing this is because the paper I overlapped it and folded it. Not sure if I got that on camera, but I want like gold on the edges. Then I want to drizzle some stuff and I want to share with you guys what, what I'm going to do. And uh, all of this is just uh, a beautiful bowl where we can put our prayers and wishes and hopes and support to people we may know or people we may not know to keep them in our thoughts and to share the energy that we share here on earth I believe let me try out the other gold see which one's the darkest gold so I was thinking I kinda like this one I was thinking if you guys I'm sorry if you guys see a fly can't stop the fly from flying around I'm gonna put it here so that I can use it in my drop paper and I'm almost ready to switch out my drop papers I'm gonna do it over this thing here too now there's two flies we might need to do two coats we'll see so I was thinking back to my thought uh, it would be nice if you guys wanted to put your own wishes in my bowl and would send me your wishes and I would fold them up and put them in this bowl and I'm asking for it to be related to either just a stranger that you know, oh, well, not a stranger that you know. Okay, let me rephrase myself. Wishes and prayers for people going through cancer, any kind of cancer. Maybe you have a family member or a friend that is going through something or yourself. Or just, you don't know anybody, but you would like to put a prayer or a wish into this bowl. I would more than welcome you guys to send my way any positive energy, any positive letters in the, in, in the little notes. You know, even if it's in a simple envelope that will cost you, what, I think it's 49 cents if you live in the US and like I said I'll fold it up and I'll put this in my living room and continue adding and adding and adding my own and if you, if you like I'll add yours just message me and, and I'll just give you my address Okay, we're almost done. I gotta check the bottom. Now the bottom will stay like that. And then on some of it I want it to be really thick as if it were like a gold soldering. That's the way I want some parts to look. Like that. Do you guys see that? Maybe maybe I should get you closer. Like that. Like what you see here.
I'm not sure which gold I used. And I'll be okay if it drizzles down some also. That'll be perfectly fine. Um, what am I thinking right now? Don't know. Slipped my mind. The fly is um, taunting me. I wish it would go out. The door's open. That's probably how he got in. That is how he got in. But he couldn't get out. It's, the world is prettier out there. There's more food out there. I don't want to pour more out because we're almost at the end. But I just might have to. Maybe I can just dip straight into my bottle. There we go. Dripping. I like it. I like it. Okay. So now what I want to do, that since the paint is still wet, I should set aside the gold that I used just in case I need some more. So I'm going to put that over there. Then I have some gold <clears throat> glitter and I want to do gold glitter on the sides. Glitter to me signifies wishes and since this is a wishing bowl I think that it fits perfectly a prayer bowl an energy bowl And I do want to put some more gold. So I'm going to do that. Let me clean off my brush. I'm glad I put the gold there. Some parts were not wet enough or had dry paint. So I want to put some here. Let me zoom out a little. I think we're good right there. And now I'm just going around the edges so that I can make sure that I can get some more glitter to adhere.
Okay. I'm going to grab a brush and brush away whatever fell into the middle. And I say, I'm very happy with it. And I really hope you participate and send me wishes that you wish or prayers that you wish for the ones that you love, the ones that have passed, the ones that are going through it. Or if you just don't know anybody, just some positive energy so that I can fold up the piece of paper. For instance, if you send it to me like this, I'll fold it up. And if you like, I can fold it up and uh, tie a ribbon on it and place it in here. And hopefully we get a lot of them. Hopefully not. But I know, you know, we all have to be real. It, it has hap it's happening and lives are impacted. And I'll do my first wish and I'll put it in there and tie it up with a pretty cord or if you want to tie it up yourself you can also request that I don't read it or you can request that I read it um, but they'll all go here so there's my participation for the hashtag collaboration that's going on and you guys have yourselves a wonderful day bye bye you know, I'm back because I forgot that I wanted to add a, f a few embellishments on the side. And what I wanted to add was a butterfly. And I think, I think I'll place it there. Okay, there's no blue in that one. There is glue in this one, but it's stuck. So, just gonna open it up. And I'm using Diamond Glaze Water Based Dimensional. Can be used as a glue. And I think I want the little tiny one. I think that's good. Those two. And and now we're done. Those are going to stay like that. I'm not doing nothing to them. I think they're gorgeous the way they are. And the butterfly signifies the wishes going up into heaven. Okay, now we're done. Thank you. Bye-bye.